Hello and welcome to an opening of the 2022 Ninomai Inani birthday commemoration set. I think that's the official title. If not, it'll be in the description below. So about a month ago, if you remember, uh, if you do watch this channel with any regularity, I did open the 2022 Mori Calliope birthday commemoration set. And about a month after that went up, I realised it was Ina's birthday, and um, I'm just going to be, you know, frank with everyone. Ina is best girl. She is my favourite Hollow Myth girl, hands down. Um, so when I saw the birthday celebration set was up for order, I was like, huh, I could get maybe one or two of these items, but then I realised, no, I, I may as well just get all of them, because they were very cute. So today we're going to be opening this up, taking a look inside... Um, and that, that's, that's how my videos work. So I'm going to go slice this open and we'll get straight into it. Alright, it is open. So I will level with you guys. I don't fully remember everything that's in here. Um, I just do remember thinking, that sounds like a very cute set. I'm going to get that. I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, I'm just going to double check this. All right, I can confirm the rest of it was just paper and cardboard. So, as with the Mori set, I'm going to grab things at random and hope I remember what it is they are. Uh, I think we did get a sneaky peek of stuff just now. So, first off is this uh, ca Ooh, it's card and a bit of art. Right, hang on, I'll, I'll unseal this. All right, if you can believe it, this is actually a little bit in better condition than the Mori one. Unfortunately, there's about, like, two inches of glue here that's just impossible to undo. Uh, I mean, it's very well sealed, and technically, I, I guess, some people might keep this sealed. But I'm not going to, so it does come with some cardboard backing, just to keep everything nice and flat. Uh, and then, of course, we do have... This, which I, I'm assuming is drawn by Ina. Uh, I'm going to take it out of this, actually, because it's going to be a little bit easier to see again, I do believe. Uh, and that says, Nino Mai Inani, uh, and it is gold embossed. Um, and then she's got another, it's a gold embossed thing. Uh, Thank you for all your support. Uh, and then she's got a very cute thing. Um, and then let's have another great year together. And then there's a small Takodachi drawing. So that is adorable. So I think it is just... So this is like an art card thing. Uh, I might get this framed, to be honest, because this is adorable. I'm 90% sure this is drawn by Ina herself. Obviously, she is a very talented artist, if you've seen any of her streams. Uh, it's the art streams that kind of got me into watching Ina, actually. Uh, and then from there, I realised she was the best girl. Uh, so I'm going to put it back in this protective thing and go put it back in here as well and I'll be right back. Also just to say I do believe much like the letter from Maury in her 2022 birthday commemorative thing I think this is exclusive to uh, people who bought the entire set. I think you couldn't buy this individually so this is a sort of more limited piece I guess. I don't know it depends uh, how many patricians there were that spent money on Ina. So next up, it does feel like we've got an art print, I'm guessing. Are we ready? We're going to see it together. It is. Hey, there we go. So it's actually, you know what? I may get this framed instead. So I suppose if you did miss out on this or whatever, I still had the ability to get this. I'm going to take it out of its um, protective thing just for a second. All right, uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I clearly haven't read the listing for this for quite a while. This is actually a clear file. So it's not necessarily um, a print on paper or anything. This is a folder you could put something in, basically. But I imagine also something you could quite easily frame. Now, the good thing about this being a clear file as well is that you could essentially put this into any frame. So. The downside of an art print with ink and stuff like that is you don't really want your print touching the glass because over time the ink will transfer and when you eventually take it out after like 10 years it'll come off. However, this is plastic and behind plastic which means that if you put this in a frame you don't need any like elevation from the glass away from the print or anything. This is very cute. Um, yeah. This is adorable. I'm definitely going to go get a frame for this because, uh, 
yet again, Ina being cute in in the uh, in a field of flowers in a dress. Very cute. Uh, right, let's go on to the next thing. All right, delving my hand, Ina again. Get it, Ina, Ina again, because like in 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 again. But all right, I think we know where this is, boys. Uh, I'm gonna go once again, unwrap it. Right, I'm gonna try and work this out. Actually, no. Okay, I've I've, all, I've already worked it out actually. So um, this. Oh wow! Ah, it's got the thing at the end as well. So this is a kind of. Uh, uh, bath stationery kind of bag, I think. Uh, this, hang on, let me open the zip up as well. So you can, of course, store things in the Takodachi in here. Uh, I might look into like, so I'm not going to keep uh, any bath related items in this or whatever. It's very um, porous, if that makes sense. But I am going to maybe find something to stuff this with because this would be adorable to have as a kind of almost like a plushie if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, imagine this stuffed up. I'll see if I can maybe to get that done if I do keep an eye on my Instagram or my Twitter. There we are. We've got long Takodachi. Uh, too long for my camera in fact. But uh, I love ta the Takodachi design. It's so cute. Um, I do love Octopi as well. And we do indeed have eight fins. I think they're fins on an octopus, right? But yeah, that is adorable. And also an appropriate uh, face that one pulls during Ina's art streams. Right, on to the next item. All right, once again, I think there are two things left, right? Maybe. Aha, this, ooh. I don't, I don't remember what this one is. Um, I did buy, the, so admittedly, with the Mori one, I like, I took a while, I, I considered it for a day or two before buying. I think this I kind of bought just immediately. Um. Okay. Right. Um, I'm going to open this. I think this is a pin badge. Or a, maybe not a pin badge. Um, it's a badge. So this opens up, uh, and then that goes in. But you can hang this. So this is like, this is a a can badge, I guess, is what they call it in Japan, because it's kind of made from can or tin. This is strange. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a heck of a display piece, though, as well. Now, thinking of it, I do remember they mentioned some kind of badge. Um, and I remember thinking it was a badge. You know, a small one that you could hold in the palm of your hand. Um, this is very weird. It's, it's a novelty for sure. I don't... I guess you could... So if you pull that out back, you could... Hmm, no, okay. Uh, I, I don't want don't to mess with it too much. But you can definitely hang it up, which is very cool. I mean, it's very on brand, obviously. Ina is the art girl, so like, it makes sense. This is very, it's very strange, but very cute as well. Right, on to the last item. All right, it is that time. Uh, by that time, I remember what this is, but I don't remember the description of it. Um, I'm hoping I can find it somewhere. Oh god, it's so cute! Uh, let me open this up, hang on. Alright, so this is a laundry bag. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a laundry bag. I will be putting up the description of everything at the bottom of the screen, if I can find them from the Geek Jack website. So, we've got a giant derpy Takodachi looking over there. And we've got a nice lineup of several other Takodachis. And there seems to be a clothes line, which is appropriate because it's a laundry bag. And round here, of course, is a Takodachi who's been hung out to dry, uh, unfortunately. Another one having a wheel of a time. And of course, Ina herself. Look at that cute octopus priestess going to put the laundry out. Uh, sadly, she's not using 
the bag that this is of. That would be an interesting bit of inception. There's another Takodachi helping her, sat in a bag. I guess she's putting the Takodachis out to dry, maybe. Which makes sense. I mean, hey, Takodachis need to stay clean as well. Um, is there anything? Okay, so it's blue in the bottom. This is definitely an interesting item. Uh, I can honestly say I do not own any other themed laundry bags. Uh, there we are. There's a... There's a... Ooh. There's a very uh, suspicious looking Takodachi on the corner there. I hadn't spotted him. That is adorable. This is, uh, as I say, it's a unique item. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to display this or where I'm going to display this, but I might, you know, use it to like put things in, which is what a bag does. And I go arrange everything anyway, and I'll be right back. All right, I've arranged everything in a more pleasing manner and took the thumbnail photo. So, um, as you can see, I have managed to stuff the taco uh, I've stuffed it with the packing paper from the uh, box. I will be finding something softer to stuff him with because at the moment he sounds crinkly. But, you know, that is a look at long taco which is a superior form. I'll put him back down there. Uh, I guess he's a he most let's let's be honest most of Vina's viewers are male i'm guessing honestly overall this has been a very unique birthday bundle um obviously this was quite a bit cheaper than Mori's one just because Mori's had a hoodie and a vinyl um these things don't cost quite as much to produce obviously so they're a bit cheaper but they are a very interesting bundle of stuff. I'll definitely be putting this dude with my plushies once I've stuffed him with the appropriate things to make him nice and chunky. I still don't know what I'm going to do with that laundry bag. I feel bad about putting laundry in it. I'll fill it with something normal like octopi or whatever. That badge, um, I still don't know what I'm going to do with. I guess I'm going to hang it on my wall somewhere. That is... It's very strange. Uh, it's very quirky though. Strange in a good way. It, it's definitely a conversation starter. It kind of looks like a clock from a distance, except it's got no hands and it's got a cute taco priestess instead. And of course the two art prints. Well, the clear file and the art print. I will look into framing both of them. This might be quite easy to find a frame for. That will probably work with a regular frame as well. I'll give it a go either way. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if any of you got this uh, birthday pack, or if you got some items from it, or if you got any of the other, uh, other Hollow Myth Girls birthday packs. I know the Gura one from this year I regret missing out on because I had the Dino Gura plush, which I'd have loved, but hey, that's how time works. But that about wraps it up. I will leave you a playlist of things to watch. I will be doing some more Hollow Live videos in the future. I've got some pre-orders for statues and androids and stuff. So stay tuned for that and for other anime slash Pokemon related stuff. Uh, or not, it's up to you. But I regardless appreciate you watching until the very end. Uh, I'll leave you go now and until next time, goodbye!